Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the, how can you customize the theming of the key clock. So first you need to download the, the file of the key clock and install it. If you don't know how to install, you can watch my previous video which I provided uh, regarding to installation of the key clock. So after you install the key clock, you will find such this kind of the file, which is the server of the key clock. And uh, definitely you will find such this file. And we are going to show you how you can find the, the theming file of the key clock. So first you need to go to the, sorry, go to the library and then uh, in library main folder and here you need to uh, find the org that key clock key clock theme yeah this is actually the file and you can extract this file but uh, yeah when you extract this file you will find the two folders as a theme and also uh, meta inf so already I have done mm, we will not extract it again so you can find that these files uh, actually uh, these folders uh, you can find the, the base key clock and key clock version 2 but later on I will make another video in this regard to explain it what's the difference uh, between the three folders but there are some differences inside when you go uh, to look into this folder you will find some uh, different items so we are not going to explain about these uh, differences just uh, we want to show you that how you can extract this file so as you observe here there are some uh, theme files which is for the wall welcome login email common admin and account uh, for the welcome this is for the admin page when the administrator user can uh, log into the system and this is for the login sso and so on this is for email and template of that and uh, for the common is for the theming of the ui and some uh, fav icon and so on so this is for admin page and also for the account Another uh, item which you need to extract is about the uh, the Marvin and there is the one item that is a POM. So you also need this file to extract it. After you extracted these two items at the theme at the uh, meta inf, uh, and uh, th this item as well this key clock theme that JSON mm -hmm. then you can uh, make it another folder which uh, look like me have done uh, in the theme you can see here there is the one POM and uh, the, I made another one as a source so you can see in this what's uh, the inside of this POM actually I customized this. Uh, there are some information. This is the name of the uh, folder, or we can say that your theme, and this is also the version. You can change this version. Uh, so let's go to the item for the key clock theme JSON, which also you need to extract it. And when you look at this file, also, you will find this, the name of your theme here, and this is the type. What is this type? If you just want to uh, change the, the theme for the login, you only will insert the login. But in my case, I wanted to change admin, login, admin account, and also the common, so I inserted all these items. Yeah? Then, 
uh, this is the theme file which is the name is the Gotham theme and also you will find the uh, each item for the theme uh, later I will make the another video regarding these uh, items and they will show you how you can customize uh, the login page and also the welcome because uh, welcome customization is a little bit different than uh, other uh, theme so when you go to the theme also you will find the th three items as a message resources and theme what are these messages is actually for the the informations or we can say that some alarms or uh, uh, messages when it comes to the to inform to the user so uh, keyclock will inform through these messages so you can also customize it oh uh, yeah this this is a file but later i can explain about this another is about the resources you can find the css file which is you can customize the css file and also images if you need to change the, the background and so on so you will insert the customized uh, image and then there is the one file as a theme uh, by default this name is a key clock but here because I have the custom theme so I change it to the custom theme for the import so my suggestion is also to change it after all you have done then you can go to the this page and uh, type as a CMD and the write it as the MVN which is the abbreviation of the Marvin if you don't know how to install the Marvin please let me know then I will make another video to how to install the the Marvin uh, so package and enter it will take few seconds I think yeah then uh, yes right that's successfully done and it will make another folder as a target and you can find the uh, the Java file for your theming so you can copy this uh, file and then uh, go to the server and go to provider file yeah oh, already is there oh, okay you can paste it here oh. yeah, from, from my side before I have done then after this you can go to the bean folder again CMD and uh, first you need to update your server so in that case you can write down kc that's bad and build when you type this command it will update the server of the key clock and yes and you can see it's already done okay see that bad and then we will start the server of the key clock so when we uh, update this um, file probably for your case uh, first you will see the original page of the key clock and then you need to configure it in the key, in key clock server again uh, for the theming so now key clock is ready uh, so in my case uh, I will write down the port is yeah you can see that here it still is uh, a key clock theme and you need to insert your yeah username and ID and after that you will find the the theme and you can see the custom theme here so 
uh, in my case because I changed for the account and also some admin uh, for the email I didn't do that just to save it and then yeah you need to sign out it's done yes you can see that now the theme already is changed for the login page okay thank you for watching this video and if you think this tutorial was useful please hit like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel stay healthy and see you